My name is Lori. I work here at Ada's as the event coordinator, um, and I was really excited to get the opportunity to host an evening of literature and performance that's also technology driven. I think um, something that we forget in our little technology bubble here at Ada's is that art can be a part of that, and often is. So I'm really excited to have the opportunity to have some awesome artists come here and share with us the ways in which they have intersected their bubble onto our little bubble. Um, we have four performers tonight. Um, Nisha Cardenas, um, Ian Hatcher, Lisa Ma, Lisa Samuels, uh, and I'm really excited to see what they are going to do. And I hope you'll all join me in welcoming them and welcoming yourself, if this is your first time at Ada's, to our space. And uh, I hope you have a great time. Not 
something that I learned how to do in my PhD. <laughs> um, okay, now there's visual stuff, so hold on one second. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Say our prayers to the projector. Oh, Acer, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay, that was easy. So, since we are in one of my favorite places in Seattle, in a super geeky place, I wanted to read a code poem, which also is related to my trans Latinx community. So I wrote this as part of the uh, Transborder Immigrant Tool Project. So I collaborated with this artist group called the Electronic Disturbance Theater, and we made a uh, app for um, J2ME phones, we mean, we're intending it to be for like cheap Nextel phones you could get on eBay for 20 bucks. And so we made this app that would allow people to find water in the U.S.-Mexico border. And uh, as they were walking, they would also get poetry. Poetry of hospitality and welcoming, because we should be welcoming people that want to come to our lands. And um, not that there are lands. I should have started by acknowledging that we are on stolen Duwamish territory today. But I was a little frazzled, so now I have knowledge. So we should be welcoming people. So um, some of the poetry is uh, hospitality poetry. Some of it is poetry that encodes desert survival information. So a poem about what does a cactus look like that is drinkable versus a cactus that is poisonous. Or a poem about uh, how to collect dew in the morning if you're in the desert, because the number one cause of death is dehydration. But we wrote a number of series series of poems about that project, um, and some of them were more conceptual, and this was one of the more conceptual ones. And so I took the code of the project and uh, modified it to be a little more expressive. Um, so you can enjoy the pain of reading, uh, but I thought it's useful to see the, um, see what the poem looks like as I read it. I think I'm going to read the whole thing. I have time. Okay. Package. Net.walkingtools. Import. Info.careertechnologies.transcoder. Public class transformer extends java.lang.object. Implements java.lang.runnable. Fields. Private. java.lang.string. Lifeline. Private. Boolean. Male or female. Private. Boolean. Citizen or migrant. Private. java.lang.string. Gender desired. Private. java.lang.string. Gender given. Private. java.lang.string. Old name. Private java.lang.string new name. Private java.lang.string birthplace. Private java.lang.string destination. Private java.lang.string attributes. Private java.io.file upload my body. Private net.walkingtools.j2sc.walker hyper gps transformer shifting the bundle. Private net.walkingtools.j2sc.editor hyper gps communicator listener listener. Private volatile Boolean walking. Private volatile Boolean running. Private volatile Boolean dancing. Private volatile Boolean transforming. Private volatile Boolean danger. Private bite me. Private. <laughs> public. Public and private. Transcoder the soft body. Constructors. Public transformer. Net.walkingtools.j2sc.editor hyper GPS transformer shifting. Java.lang.string. Whew. Glad that part's out right. I'm sure you are too. If gender given is not equal to gender desired, or if birthplace is not equal to destination, then walking equals true. <laughs> Comment. Attempt to enter into a queer time and place via the transcoder library. While the soft body Q time gog magog. Dancing equals joy, transforming equals hope and pain and fear and fantasies and uncertainty. Comment, is the assignment operator that of identity binary in itself? Try some other methods, like becoming serpent through poetry. Nipantla.open imagined world. Nipantla.shift toward imagined body. Upload my body and tilt and resist logics of capital. If rejecting binaries, male or female, citizen or migrant, comment. No need to check if we're running in the desert or the city. Just set the danger flag and run. If danger equals high, running equals true. 
multiply identities here, but we'll need support to do that. The code won't be enough. Lifeline times equals love and care and community and solidarity plus resistance. Else, comment, perhaps it's best <coughs> for us to just escape logic and Western rationalism altogether. Thirst and desire already do this for us. Old name equals new name equals no. Exit and class transform. MOV. I am no testo junkie. This is no experiment. These are not drugs. They are my body. I take hormones every day of my life out of necessity just to have a body I can live in, to avoid death, to survive, both to sur avoid my own suicidal ideation that appears in my mind unwillingly, instantly, surprisingly, usually with a painful, slow, resonating ache as I look at some beautiful woman or some everyday woman going about her life. A life I thought I could never have, though now, mostly, in my own way, I do. And to avoid death at the hands of others, the constant promise of necropolitics that I face every day. Knowing that as a trans woman of color, I'm not likely to survive until my next dream is realized, my next poem is written, my next performance is danced and spoken, my next city or country welcomes me, my next surgery date comes, or this time, until I see the eyes of my bright, screaming, beautiful baby come into this dimension and join us with her cries of creation. I'm not taking hormones now out of necessity. The feeling of urgency of reproducing in the face of a world that wants me dead. It wants my dearest loved ones from South Asia, Palestine, Colombia, dead. Or from here, Mississauga, New Credit Territory, dead. We will fight back against these genocidal projects by making family, love, and joy, by making babies with our queer and trans bodies. to 
to heal the deepest wounds in myself, to care for myself and those I love by creating stability, by being careful with our hearts and our lives. Funny that my Colombian dad's whole way of raising me was to teach me to be the man, the breadwinner. And it didn't work. But absolutely rejecting man in the deepest way I could brought me full circle to want to create and protect my family in a way that dad will one day appreciate. They told me I would be sterile, the doctors and brochures, that I couldn't do this, what I'm doing now. But they don't know. They lied. Other trans women have done it. I mourn the loss of my children and family, and I've heard my friends mourning them too. But the truth is that even after eight years on estrogen and T blockers, you only have to go off your hormones for a few months to make gametes. Other trans women taught me how to do it. Sadie said, get a microscope. Don't pay hundreds of dollars for doctor visits to check your semen. With a $50 kid's microscope, you can see sperm morphology and motility. I did, I can, and I do see hundreds of sperm squirming their way across the field of view, clearly swimming in a line. I shared in our Facebook group with the other women the short video I made, and they've exclaimed, you got swimmers! <laughs> <laughs>